Hey everyone, Phil here with VideoSchoolOnline.com and today I'm going over how you rearrange your workspace in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is a very beginner tip, but for those of you just starting, it can be very confusing on how you get this workspace to be customized to what you want it to be. And this question comes from Nick, who is enrolled in my green screen editing class, which is an older class, and he was wondering how he gets his workspace to look like this compared to this. This is what his workspace looks like right now. I rearranged my workspace to basically copy what his looks like, and he wants it to look like this so he can follow along with the course. So this is an older version of Premiere Pro. This is CS5 or CS6, I believe. So the it does look a little bit different in terms of the layout or the, just the style. It's a little bit darker now, but that can be also be customized in the preferences appearance menu. But the main question is how do we rearrange these panels to make it look like this? Well, it's relatively easy to move around panels, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. And I'm gonna start with up here in the left, we want the project panel to be up there. So our project panel is actually currently up here. So we're going to leave it there, but we're going to move it to the left side of the effects panel. So if you, or the effects tab, which is now a tab underneath the project panel. So if you have multiple tabs or panels in one window, you can rearrange them by moving them to the left or right just by clicking on the title of that panel. In the middle, we have effects controls along with a few other ones back here, audio mixer, metadata. Those are things you don't necessarily need, but to move a panel completely, we can click and drag and move it. Now you see that when I'm clicking and dragging that it highlights different parts of this window now. In the middle, if I drop it, it just drops it into this panel with the rest of these panels and it becomes a tab. If I put it on the bottom, left, right, or top, it's going to attach it to the bottom and create a whole new window. So let me just do that on the bottom. See what happens? It creates this new window. So I don't want that. I want it to be in this panel. So I could either drop it here or right here in the top where you see that it highlights just the titles of the panels, okay? So now down here in the bottom left, actually that was the effects panel. That we just want the effects controls up here. So we're actually gonna move this effects panel down here. You see, so now it's in the bottom left. We have our timeline, which is a big timeline right here, and we're going to make that timeline right here bigger. So see, this is the timeline. So I'm going to extend this to the left and extend this to the right. So this is where I'm customizing the size of a panel. So I can click and extend the right or left or top or bottom side of a panel. And sometimes if you click in the middle and there's multiple panels aligned, it will increase or decrease the size of the entire row of windows basically. Up here in the right, we have our program window, so that's good. And then up here in the middle, we don't really need some of these panels. So I'm going to get rid of the Lumetri scopes. And to get rid of any of these panels, we can just right click and say close panel. What we don't have is metadata. We're not going to use metadata, but I just want to show you how you would add metadata to this window. If you just go up to your Windows menu and click on metadata, it will pop up. Now it might not pop up in this panel. So you see it popped up in here for us, but it might have popped up over here, for example. And let me just close this. So say you went to Windows and then Metadata and it popped up where you didn't want it, just click it and drag it and drop it onto the window where you want it to be, okay? So down here on the left, we have the Media Browser Info Effects. So we don't necessarily need history, so I'm just gonna right click, markers, close that, info, we can leave that, libraries, we can close that if we want, and then go up to Windows, meet a browser. And so you see here that it added a panel to the left of this window, so we need to actually drag it on top of this window, so now it's a part of this panel as just a tab, okay? So that's pretty much all you need to do. And one thing here, actually, my tools are in the bottom right. I, I like having them over here, but if you want to move them to the bottom right, you can. You just click that toolbar and move it over here to the bottom. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to find exactly where it is, but then you can extend or make this window 
bigger or smaller, but I like it over here. The thing about panels is that you can customize it however you want, and there's no right or wrong way to do it. Of course, for this class, Nick, it's probably easier for you to follow along if you have the same panels and it's laid out the same. But if you find out that you like a different customization, then go ahead and use it. And then if you like some sort of workspace that you, you just like editing with, you can save it. So if you go to Windows, Workspaces, save as a new workspace, you can save it. So you can see that I have my single monitor workspace that I've been using a lot, or I have my traditional workspace, this is another one, or I might even have a dual screen. This is when my buddy uh, Sam edits projects on my computer. He likes it where I have two screens up. So that's how you customize your workspace. Nick, I hope this answered your question, and for anyone else wanting to know this, I hope this helped as well. Have fun and see you in another tutorial.